Rainbow Tribe, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. It's Roshunda here and in today's video, we're going to be preparing sea moss. This is my first bag of sea moss. I've heard so many great things about it and I'm down to do anything that is going to aid my health, my family's health, my children's health. So I'm down to try this out. It has 92 of the 102 minerals that our bodies need every single day. And um, yeah, so today we're gonna prepare some. Actually, this video may take a couple of days because it I actually have to let this sea moss soak for about 16 hours. And after I get it all prepared, I'm going to show you how I'm going to consume it. So if you're ready to watch this video, then stay tuned. First instruction is to place one cup of sea moss in a bowl and let it soak for 10 minutes. So that's what we're gonna do. Oops, that's what we're gonna do first. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you all the sea moss here real quick. Put it in the bowl and then I'm gonna grab put some water in here okay be right back okay so here is the sea moss soaking in the water you can see that the water is a little bit foggy so it def definitely has a lot of residue on it that is falling off um, so what we're gonna do is let this soak for 10 minutes and I will be back to show you what it looks like afterwards so stay tuned okay so the sea moss has been soaking for about 10 for about 10 minutes now it has like kind of like a i wouldn't say it's slimy because after you take it out of your hands you don't feel slime but it's kind of slick but okay so what we're going to do now is take this over to the sink And we, we are, are going to rinse it a couple more times just to make sure we have all the grit and sand out of it. I'm going to put it in here. And we're just going to rinse it more. Make sure we get it nice and clean. We don't want any grit or sand in our sea moss because eventually after all the steps we are going to blend this and it's going to be like a um, applesauce texture. Okay. I'm going to rinse it and then I think I'm going to soak it one more time. I'm going to go ahead and put it back in the bowl. Put some more water in there. And um, let it soak and you know see if there's more sand that will fall to the bottom of the bowl. Stay tuned. Okay, so I let this soak in the water for a little while longer and you as you can tell you can see that the water is a lot clearer than it was before so i can say that it's pretty clean so now i'm going to strain this again and then i'm going to refill my bowl with spring water and we're going to let it soak for 16 hours pretty much until after work tomorrow will be when we will check on it again. I'm just going to give my bowl a little rinse here. Rinse off the sea moss one more time. And it's already starting to expand because this looks like more like two cups rather than one cup. So we're going to let that rinse off. I'm going to go over here. Put my bowl here. Got the sea moss. 
bringing it back to the sink. I mean, to the sink, to the counter. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour some Arrowhead 100% Mountain Spring Water into the bowl. way too much water okay I had to take some of the water out because I put too much now I'm gonna cover this with the lid it doesn't say whether you should or not I'm just gonna cover it just so no contamination or anything can get inside of this bowl and contaminate my sea moss so we're gonna cover it and let it soak until tomorrow after work currently it is 8 33 p.m. so tomorrow after work will definitely be at least 16 hours Okay, so it is exactly 24 hours later. I let this sea moss soak for 24 hours. It says that it should soak for about 16 to 15 hours, but I was so busy with the rest of the day, I couldn't get to it until now. So now what we're going to do is transfer the sea moss into a medium saucepan and fill it with water and bring it to a low boil over medium heat and then we're gonna reduce and simmer for 12 to 15 minutes. That's our next step. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay. And it has expanded <clears throat> so much. This is more like three cups instead of one cup. But let me give you a closer look. Like this is what it looks like. This is also an option. It says you do not have to boil it, but I'm going to do that. So I'm going to put it in there, just like that. And I'm going to add some more spring water. And then we're just going to let it boil. Medium for mine is like a four, four and a half. All right, and so I'll be back once this is done boiling. Okay, the sea moss has simmered for about 15 minutes and it is, is very gelatinous and it's pretty much broken down, but I am gonna put it in the mixer and break it down a little bit more. So stay tuned for that. All right, so we got our sea moss here and we're gonna add it to, I hope I don't spill this, let me back up a little bit. And we're gonna add it to the mixer so that we can blend it. Then we're gonna put it in glass jars. We got some sea moss. We got our 100 and what, 92 of the 102 minerals. Right here. Do I 
slowly. It's hot in there. Okay, here is the sea moss. Wow, it looks a little, um, snotty. Yeah, it doesn't look as, as, um, mucusy. You know, it does look mucusy, but it doesn't really look like applesauce. <laughs> you know how it looks more, more fine than applesauce. <laughs> Anyway, this is a lot of sea moss. For a little bit of. For one cheese. cup of, yeah. That's gonna make a lot. And you only need like two tablespoons. Yeah. There's one serving. And we can make at least three more batches of that. In the dry sea moss. We sea moss ready. So this is what the sea moss look like, looks like after it has been cleaned cooked down and blended it turns very gelatinous and stiff you can add more water to it you know if you want it a little less thick and more runny but this is how we made our first batch and that's what it looks like yeah i like to drink mine in tea my sea moss I put it inside of my tea and it's gelatinous and it just it just pretty much melts melts right into the tea water just keep stirring it and it's gonna dissolve and melt and you won't even taste it It's completely dissolved. Now all you have to do is just throw your tea bag in there, a little bit of honey or sugar, whatever you prefer, and there you go. You have your morning dose of sea moss. <laughs>